Ever wondered about the deadliest creatures lurking in the shadows? No, not monsters or aliens, but parasites. These silent invaders, often unseen and unfelt, can be more deadly than any horror movie villain. From the microscopic to the visible, they're everywhere. In the water we drink, the food we eat, and even the air we breathe. Parasites have evolved with us, and some of them have developed truly terrifying and fascinating ways to survive. Their impact ranges from mild discomfort to life-threatening conditions, making them some of the most feared organisms on Earth. Join us as we count down the top 10 deadliest parasites on our planet. Starting our list at number 10 is the eye-inflating flatworm. This cunning creature has a life cycle that's straight out of a horror movie. It begins its journey as an egg, which is ingested by a snail. Inside the snail, the flatworm transforms into a larva and begins to inflate the snail's eye stalks to an unnaturally large size. But why, you ask? Well, the swollen eyes attract birds, which are the flatworm's ultimate destination. The bird eats the snail, and the flatworm gets a free ride to its next host. Once inside the bird, the flatworm lays eggs that are then excreted, ready to be ingested by another unsuspecting snail. This parasite manipulates its host in the most gruesome way imaginable. At number 9 we have a real-life horror story, the zombie wasp. This is not your typical pest. The zombie wasp is a master manipulator, turning its victims into living hosts for its young. The wasp employs an intricate life cycle, first injecting its eggs into a cockroach. The eggs hatch and the larvae feed on the roach from the inside out. But here's the real twist, the wasp's venom paralyzes the roach, not killing it, but turning it into a zombie-like state. Unable to resist becoming a nursery for the wasp's offspring, this parasite turns its victims into living incubators. Number 8 on our list is the tongue-eating sea louse. This peculiar parasite lives up to its name by infiltrating the gills of a fish, then attaching itself to the fish's tongue. The sea louse drains blood from the tongue until it withers away, at which point it takes the tongue's place. This is not a simple case of identity theft. The sea louse becomes a functioning pseudo-tongue helping the fish to eat while it feeds off the scraps. And so, the fish and the louse live in an uncanny yet deadly partnership. This parasite replaces its host's tongue, an eerie and deadly takeover. At number 7 we introduce the eye worm. This insidious parasite infiltrates humans through flybites. Once inside it embarks on a journey to the eye, making it not just a metaphorical, but a literal pain in the eye. The eye worm's life cycle is a masterclass in persistence and survival, as it waits patiently in the host for the opportunity to reproduce. Its effects can be deadly, causing severe discomfort and, in extreme cases, blindness. The eye worm is a literal sight for sore eyes. Coming in at number 6 is the guinea worm. This parasitic nematode has a life cycle that reads like a horror story. It starts its journey as a microscopic larva, consumed by a host through contaminated water. Once inside it matures and grows up to 3 feet in length over the course of a year. Its grand exit is what sets it apart. The worm creates a burning blister on the skin and slowly emerges over weeks, causing extreme pain and often incapacitating its host. This parasite causes excruciating pain as it exits its host. Halfway through our list at number 5 is the head-splitting fungus. This parasitic organism has a life cycle that's straight out of a horror movie. It starts with innocent ants going about their business. The spores of the fungus infiltrate the ant's body, taking over its brain and manipulating its behavior. The infected ant then climbs to a high point, clamps down with its mandibles and waits. This is where the head-splitting part comes in. The fungus grows inside the ant, eventually bursting out of its head in a terrifying display of parasitic prowess. This fungus makes a dramatic exit from its host. At number 4 we have the sex change bacteria. This little terror has a fascinating if somewhat unnerving life cycle. It infiltrates its host, a marine worm, and begins to alter its host's sexual characteristics. The bacteria manipulates the worm's hormones causing a male worm to develop female reproductive organs. This isn't just a costume change, the worm is now biologically female, capable of laying eggs. But this isn't a benevolent act of gender reassignment. The bacteria's deadly twist is that it uses the altered host to reproduce, spreading even further. This bacteria alters the very identity of its host. Number 3 on our list is the bloodthirsty vampire fish. This aquatic menace is a parasite with a twist. It begins its life as a free-swimming larvae in water bodies waiting for a suitable host. Once it finds one it uses its sharp teeth to attach itself and begins feeding on the host's blood. 
The vampire fish isn't just a nuisance for the host, it's a death sentence. As it grows, it depletes its host's life force, leading to weakness and eventually death. This fish parasite sucks the life out of its host. Our runner-up at number two is the mind control bug. A master of manipulation, this parasitic bug has a life cycle that's nothing short of a horror movie. A. It begins its life as an egg, hatches into a larva, and then invades a host. Once inside, it takes control of the host's brain, steering it towards its own survival and reproduction. Its transmission is often through ingestion or direct contact, making it a silent invader. Uh, the deadly effects are not just physical, but psychological, too, as the host loses all sense of self. This bug takes over its host's brain, a chilling reality. And finally, at number one, we have the terrifying, womb-hijacking barnacles. These parasitic crustaceans lead a life that could be straight out of a horror movie. Their life cycle begins when a male barnacle infects a female of a different species. He injects her with his own parasitic young, which then take over the female's reproductive system, transforming it into a nursery for their own kind. The barnacle's larvae grow within their host, feeding off her nutrients and eventually completely replacing her own offspring in the process. It's a chilling survival strategy that's as effective as it is gruesome. What's worse, the transmission of these womb hijackers is astonishingly efficient. The male barnacles release their parasitic young into the water where they float freely seeking out unsuspecting hosts. Once they find a suitable victim, the cycle of infection and reproduction begins anew. The effects of this parasitic takeover can be deadly for the host. The barnacles' growing larvae drain the host of her resources, often leading to her premature death. This parasite is the deadliest of them all, hijacking the very birth process of its host. Parasites, as we've seen, are not just the stuff of nightmares. They're real, they're out there, and they have abilities that can only be described as terrifying. From the eye-inflating flatworm to the zombie wasp, from the tongue-eating sea louse to the eye worm. We've learned about the burning pain caused by the guinea worm, the head-splitting fungus, and the sex-change bacteria. We've discovered the vampire fish, the mind control bug, and the womb hijacking barnacles. Remember, these deadly creatures are closer than you think. But don't worry, knowledge is our best weapon against these hidden horrors.